on, Seth, we're late. I'm dreading Zoe ringing. Yeah, well, she's hardly likely to. She's gone to get away from it all. What shall I say if she does? We'll just tell her that her dad's been taken into hospital. You know, it looked touch and go when the ambulance came. And we'll just tell her to ring the general. Yeah, I'll have the number ready just in case. Come on, Seth! They're going to get an old sewer in like that. Yeah, we'll just get a move on. Hold the water. Who's bothered with me and the other when Frank's in dock? You know, Kim must be in a right state. She'll manage. Yeah, well, let me know how he is, eh? Take care. Betty, they're at it again. Oh, I'll see ya. I'm surprised there's any strength left for work. You're only jealous. I know. How are you, Mrs. Tate? How long's he gonna be like this? It's too early to say. Oh, well, you must have some idea. It won't be helpful to you if I speculate. You don't want to commit yourself. Your husband's suffering from myocarditis. The heart rhythm becomes completely unsteady and haywire. Well, he's recovered before. And there are complications, I'm afraid. Possibly due to his heart condition and almost certainly resulting from the massive intake of alcohol. He suffered liver failure during the night. If you hadn't acted so promptly administering his medication, I don't think he'd be with us now. It was that close. Excuse me. If Frank croaks, it could affect us badly. If his business goes to pot, just think about the number of people on his payroll. A good wedge of wit comes in here. Well, you're all hurt. I'm just saying. And Mr Tate had been drinking the booze that you sold him. Yeah, that's it. Go on, blame me. This place should be closed down anyway. It's full of toxins and death. Booze. Bags, dead animals, e numbers. Yes, all right, all right, thank you. No, I'll just have them, thanks. You can't have them. Why not? Smoky bacon, dead pig. Oh, come on, we miss a bus. There's no dead pig in here, it's all artificial flavouring. She's got a point about us supplying the booze for Tate's party. Well, it's not your fault Frank hit the bottle. I know that, but paying for it is hardly going to be top of Kim's priorities, is it? Just keep. Going clippity clop. Oh, I still can't work out why Frank started drinking. He's been off it for ages. Hi, hello. Hi there. Uh, you reckon that's what caused it then? Oh, he was full of himself. I'd never seen him happier. Then half an hour later, he looked shattered, really shaken up. Maybe he suddenly remembered what having kids was all about, eh? Maybe. God, he should see ours. Linda refuses to speak to anybody. And now Dave must have said something wrong to Cathy because she just left without saying a word. You know, your Dave's going to have his work cut out with Frank out the picture. Hello. Hello. He hit that floor like a sack of taters. Down he went, wallop. Yeah, well, I'll not lose any sleep over him. Oh, go on, Frank Tate's not all that bad. Isn't he, Betty? I only got custody of Alice because I could prove to the court that I had a home and a job. And now, thanks to the Tates, I've got neither. How's that gonna look when I take her to see her mother at Christmas, eh? As far as I'm concerned, they can rot in hell, because that's exactly what they've made my life. Yes, but I mean, you wouldn't want to see him dead, though. Oh, dear. I mean, I can understand his reason for thinking like that, and heaven knows I'm no great admirer of the Tates, but you see, it's the kiddie you've got to consider. I mean, I don't think any of us would like to start our young life with a father out of... Hello. Oh, hello. Have you come to play with Joseph? How's he? He's doing his father's paperwork for him. <laughs> no, how's Frank? Why? Haven't you heard? He was taken ill at the party. What? He was rushed to hospital. Hasn't Kim called you? That scheming cow. What are we going to do with you that are left? Well, whatever I've been on, put them in cellar. Ah, oh, but what if they have been opened? Go on, you can have them. I'll get a barrow. We're all right for Christmas now. Have you found the hospital yet? <coughs> no, I think Kim's left a mobile off. I meant, have you rang the ward to see how Frank is? No, there's no change. Yeah, well, you better steer clear of Kim, especially now. I need to know what's going on, Biff. Look, 
Just remember, you work for her. She doesn't own you. You know damn well it's not as simple as that. I've been having an affair with her for six months, man. Yeah, I know. And you finished it, and now you're engaged to somebody else. End of story, right? What if Frank dies? Well, then you better start looking for a new job. We all had. I'm sorry I had to be the one to tell you. No, you don't have to apologise, sir. Been left to my wicked stepmother, we'd have never have known. I don't mind sitting with Joseph. He's coming to see his grandfather. Hurry up, Rachel. Chris, what if Kim's there? She'll be there. But well, I don't want to cause a fuss. Well, are you ready? Yes. Bye. Get off me, you. I'm warning you. I'm... No, get in. Don't you start with me. So, what are you doing for Christmas, Eric? Drink it to Frank Tate's health. <laughs> Good will to all men and women, I say. I'll be seeing Brit. Typical. What do you mean? Well, it seems to be obligatory to spend Christmas Day with someone you can't stand. We're all right, me and Brit. We're just doing our own thing, that's all. Yes, well, so am I. And the 25th of December is like any other day to me. You're only saying that because no one asks you anywhere. Uh, you can come to our house, Mr Pollard. Now, why would I want to do that, Sam? Oh, you'll have a belting time with us. We have, like, party hats and everything. After dinner, we'd do arm wrestling. Ooh, you do that again. Yeah. You're dead. I'm well, I bet your mother you always wins. Fucking hell. Sit down. Me, I'm warning you. Uh, <laughs> you all right? I probably had too much at the party. I thought you was a bit quiet. It's Kim, isn't it? Oh, not much gets past me. Do you know you two used to be that close when you was working at stables and all? I'd almost forgotten. No. Until you had that bust up over them shares or summit. <laughs> and then you saw her last night. Alone, distressed. Her whole world falling apart. And all you wanted to do was run up to her, fling your arms round her and tell her everything was all right. But your pride stopped you, didn't it? Now I'm right, aren't I? You really understand what makes people tick, don't you, Betty? It's a gift. Come on, Sam Peel. Don't keep on about it. I said no. Oh, well, how's Frank? Well, the usual. Comfortable. I'll see to this. Come for your lunch? Yeah, I thought Biff might be in. Uh, no, not yet. Um, should I get you some of it? Yeah, go on, I'll have an orange juice. I'll get you a sandwich too, on me. Oh. What kept you? I was inviting Mr Pollard for Christmas. You did what? That's very good, that, Sammy. That's etiquette, that is. Did your mother put you up to this? Of course not. Do you know, I'm really going to push the boat out. I'm going to get a tablecloth. I'll get some nutcrackers. Nutcrackers? What for? Cracking nuts. Well, he's not coming. You are? You don't want to come. Oh, what a shit. You know why, don't you? Because he don't want to fraternise with an animal like you. No, I want that, Mum. He thinks you'll beat him at arm wrestling. A <laughs> 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 lady, I am. Uh, what am I? Get off. What am I? A lady. Right, uh. don't forget that, otherwise I'll break your arm. If you change your mind, Eric. You're always welcome. I'm famous for me duff. Ah, Nelly. It's been good to me, Frank. Don't start getting maudlin. I oh, forget it. You've actually thought about it, haven't you? That all that could be yours. Don't talk rubbish. Yeah, but it's crossed your mind, though. And all that stuff about you two being finished, that's the rubbish. You can't let her go, can you? I don't know. Of course you know. Ever since I copped you at that hotel in Leeds, I've been nothing but an agony aunt while you spilled out your guts. And I've only just realised, you weren't in some great dilemma. You loved it. You were revelling in it. Well, you don't need a mate, you need a priest. So you've forgiven my son, carry on as you were.
you evil bitch. Chris. You really excelled yourself this time. You didn't even have the decency to phone. Why should I? Is anything the matter? We're, we're visiting Mr Tate. Well, look, I'm sorry. We can only allow close relatives to see him at the moment. I'm his son. Oh, I thought there was just the daughter who's out of the country. Christopher is Frank's estranged son. They severed all ties. She shouldn't be left alone in here with him. Well, look, Mr Tate, I think it might be better if you left. It would just give us all a chance to calm down a bit. Yeah, OK. Mm. Come on, Chris, this isn't doing any good. Are you all right? Well, of course she's all right. Mrs Tate has had quite enough stress for somebody in her condition. What ruddy condition? We wanted to tell you, Christopher, but... Well, in light of your recent behaviour, we didn't know how you'd react. I'm expecting your father's child. She's never pregnant. Kim, the expectant mother, hardly likely, is it? Stop it. This isn't about Kim. Look, my father's at death's door and she doesn't let me know. It might have been the last chance for Joseph and his grandfather to be together. I'm she stooped that the low. one that stopped Frank seeing Joseph. I'm the one that didn't even want them at the wedding. We had good reason. Did we? Perhaps I can get to see him now. Move. You have to wait. They're seeing to him. What are you talking about? Well, you should remember. They're giving him nursing care. Tending to his bodily fluids, that kind of thing. Why did you say you were pregnant? Oh, don't waste your time, Rachel. You aren't the only one in the world who can have children. If you'd felt able to come to the party, you'd have found out, along with everyone else. It would have meant so much to Frank. To both of us. To have seen your faces when we announced to the whole village that I was expecting Frank's child. A new little person. Ah, uh, well, come on then, you two lovebirds. Uh, let's be having you. Uh, hey, Terry, it's not true about Tate, is it? Oh, oh, Sam says he's had a turn. Oh, aye, 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 he's in a bad way. Serious. Oh, makes you think, doesn't it? Oh, it does. We'll not be round for rent for a bit. Oh, don't be <laughs> awful! Right, turn around now. <laughs> hey, hey. Hold it, Terry. I was glad to see you having a word with Linda. No, oh, I didn't get very far. Well, at least you opened the lines of communication. You make me sound like a peace negotiator. <laughs> and in my experience, family life is like a battlefield, with its fair share of casualties. I haven't seen my son Terence for, for years. He doesn't want to know me. I sometimes wonder if we give him too much. Too much of what? Material possessions, freedom. Ah, oh, but you can't give them too much love, though, can you? It's easy to love them when they're doing what you approve of. But when they're not... Aye. War breaks out. You should have rung. I could have put the call straight through to the surgery that's covering for Zoe. Is it for you or the Sugdens? I've come to see you. I'm not qualified. Oh, I'll give it a rest, Linda. I've come to try and sort... Talk things... some sense into me. To talk? She sent you, ain't she? Don't talk about your mother like that. Well, you've been in here 20 seconds and you've already dished out two orders. Do this, don't say that. And we're that bad. Come on, we can't be any worse than Betty Eggleton. Ah, oh, so that's what's bugging you. Me stopping at Betty's. We're not thrilled about it, no. I'm lodging there. I come and go when I want. I please myself. Oh, and that's all there is to it, eh? You just get on with your own little life and blow everybody else? Yeah, I think it is. Look, give us a chance, will you? I'm gonna go around and see Cathy and get it sorted out. Like you said, we're engaged and all this stuff doesn't matter. Listen, Dave, you don't need to convince me, all right? Yeah, well... How is he? Hanging on. Yeah, but he's gonna be all right, though. Just gotta hope and pray. I'm gonna get some sleep, if I can. Oh, David, could you call up to the house later? Everything's under control. You don't need to worry about that. I'm sure. But I still need to go through one or two things with you. What time? Nine o'clock. See you in the morning. Bye. Who you want a lift? No, thanks. Bedtime, Robert. 
finished it, Mum. Nearly. You can't rush creative genius. It'll be Easter at this rate. Uh, it will be if you two keep heckling me. We all know the story anyway. Oh, well, your mum reckons this is going to be a nativity play with a difference. It is, too. How? Oh, Papa, you'll just have to wait and see. I've waited ages already. Ah, well, you see, the three wise men will ride motorbikes. And the innkeeper is Mr Turner telling the Dingles they're barred. <laughs> Good night. Good night, son. Night, night. I'll come up and see you in a bit. Finish that first. Oh, yes, I will. <laughs> Dad's a lazy bones, isn't he? <laughs> he certainly is. Your daddy says he's been very busy painting things for your Christmas play, but I think he's just a lazy bones. You're a lazy bones, Dad. <laughs> oh, I know. Hiya, Dave. Hi, Peanuts. Hope you don't mind. We do. Can I have a word? Can you give us a few minutes, Nick? Come on, Alice, let's get you ready for bed. What do you want? Seemed to fall out last night. I don't know why. I was tired. Oh, come on. Do you expect me to jump for joy because Kim's expecting? It's going to be better for us, isn't it? How? Well, she ain't going to pester me. You really are priceless. Are you telling me a condition of us being together is her being temporarily out of action? Oh, you know I didn't mean that. So what do you mean? Oh, come on. That look you gave me last night, you as good as accused me of being the father. Maybe that's just you feeling guilty, Dave. What have I got to feel guilty about? I've told you it's finished with her. End of problem, then. It's not, though, is it? You've got the problem. It's you that's threatened by Kim Tate. Hey, you're obsessed with her. Everything I say just makes it worse. Think about it. You don't have to stand guard. The patient mustn't be distressed in any way. Look, I'm sorry about earlier, but please could I have a little time with him alone. Yes, OK. <laughs> I'm sorry, Dad. I'm so sorry. Morning, Kim. Yeah. Very off. Hello. Uh, can I speak to Britt, please? It's Terry. Terry Woods, her husband. Oh, hang on. I can't help feeling where to blame. I mean, he was so upset when we stopped him seeing Joseph. But Frank's been suffering with heart problems for years. I just didn't want to get Joseph involved in these power games. In the end, we've behaved no better than them. I just hope we can patch it up. Hi, oh, Kathy. What can I get you? Uh, nothing, thanks, Alan. Um, I thought Dave might be here. Oh, we've not seen him. Do you want to use the phone? No, it's not important. Thanks. Yeah, that's four nil to me. Hey, Thingy, come and show our butcher how to throw them arrows. Shut it! Not tonight, boys. You're a chicken. That's right. <coughs> She's a chicken, Sam. No, oh, she don't want to show you up, you mean. Yeah, I know Christmas is a bad time in this business. Well, maybe we can get together after an egg cupcake. You know, in the dead zone before New Year. Ah, well, give us a ring, eh? Christmas Day. Brit, pleading with me to join her in York. Drink? I'm having one. Yeah, go on, I could do a one. Why didn't you tell me that you were pregnant? You're not my husband. How is he? Well, let me know if there's any change. God, it must have been a nightmare, him collapsing like that in front of you. Yeah, I was shocked. I didn't think he had it in him to surprise me. You don't look so outraged. The rest of the village can pretend to be grief-stricken, but we don't have to. Do you think anything of him? 
Not when I compare it with what I feel for you. No, it's all right, Jan. I has not stood me up, honestly. No. No message. Bye. Feels good. Mm. You know, this time last night, Frank and I made our grand announcement. Who'd have thought 24 hours later that he'd be in intensive care and I'd be here with you? No, oh, no. Oh, I'm not complaining. I like it when I shock you. Yeah, well, you get enough practice. I'm overall righteous and moral. You know, there's somebody that shocks me more than you. Surely not Goody Two Shoes. Sorry, I won't mention Kathy again. Me? What am I doing here? I knew when you asked me how it'd end up like this. Like what? Well, two hours ago, I was with her telling her it was her and me. No, it's... You and me. And our baby. Daddy.